Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, let's talk HIV. You know, as they say, prevention is better than cure. As a preventative measure, in order to um, best prevent HIV is to abstain from sex. Plain as ABC. Simple. J. Vala, vala is paza shop. Then HIV sorted, gone. But then that is not realistic, right? Right. We are not monks. We are human beings. And human beings do need that human interaction. At one point or the other, it will happen. Even for those people who abotina, who don't really want to be in a relationship. At some point, maybe I might find myself, hey, dancing in the shit with somebody. You never know. So that human interaction at one point or the other will happen. So in that case, what, how can we best prevent HIV AIDS? One, we have condoms. We have condoms which we have been using for decades. And they have worked for us pretty well. Did they though? Let's be honest. I'm a condoms. I have passed a band. More often than not, when I was still sexually active, I do remember nine out of ten times that I, we use condoms, they actually passed. Kind of bust. So now, in in cases where now condoms bust, that means they're not really that safe. Now, how do you prevent HIV then? Other than condoms, we have ama vaginal rings. <clears throat> ama vaginal rings are uh, used uguti to, to work in conjunction with condoms to prevent uh, ladies from contracting HIV should they come into contact with someone who has the HIV, prefer preferably accidentally. If I remember well, when they did ama, ama vaginal rings, uh, more than anything, they were thinking about ama rape victims. That should tell you uguti. Then it means uguti. If it if they had ama rape victims. Uh, in mind when they were making vaginal rings, that should tell you what was not really meant. Uguti when now you offer Zanje for the whole week with that um utembe uguti you've got vaginal rings no. Because um the safety corner actually is less than what a prep can actually offer you. Which brings us to our third option, bang yona iprep. I hear many people saying, Yazi, uh, bengi funa iprep, but then I was given a wrong thing. And I'm like, how, uh, how is it possible for you to be given a wrong prep? It's like somebody saying I was given wrong ARVs. How, how can you be given wrong ARVs? Rather, you were given... A product lailugu to wena you do not prefer. Because yes, ngama qualities ziashuga. But a grandpa is a grandpa is a grandpa. Even if a grandpa in Ayenza five different companies. For example, Konamanje, because I know grandpa, I know my grandpa very, very well. E grandpa, irrespective of we tenga makule no we tenga from it is came. 
you get a grandpa a very clean and very fine very soft ngati flower when you when you put it on your tongue ngati flower it's it's clean then you get any it's like macranules when you put it on your on your tongue yet macran power hence abantu bathe amakula ayenza a fake grandpa which they might but i'm just saying what umuntu once showed me as a proof yokuthi amakula ayenza i gave him the packet lebeng nayo from this game which tasted exactly the same it tastes like a macranules and the one that is clean is fast acting and this one eyo ngathi shukela yena ma granules ekhwayilim is it feels like it does not work and it's got a very funny aftertaste which tells me ukuthi we've got two suppliers but same medication same medication same thing ama ARVs doesn't matter ukuthi ibhokisi lakho lithi what's the name okusalayo the three ingredients are the same and yes maybe the quality will differ that one i won't argue i mean we can both sibake amakuku the ingredients will all be the same wakho zoba mnandi wama uthola ukuthi umuntu manga kushanga lo ngawa but it does not mean ukuthi la maxi siyiguqu kusa siyiguqu nalo so back to ama prep nokuzwa abantu bathi bangnikeze i prep e wrong the one person i once had an opportunity cause bego umngani kamntwana am athi yo mama yazingela phiana ngathi and you landa i prep bang nikeza ma ARVs and i was like nana it's fine drink the ARVs it's fine they are still that's still prep for you it is ARVs for the person who's taking them as in medication to manage their illness but then to you it is not for management is for prep to prevent you from acquiring that disease in the first place so what is what is prep prep from those three from those three drugs as in a pagathi we ARVs for a prep they only take one of those drugs the very drug ARV so actually prep is ARV abafuna uphikisa must just call any scientist abajele ukuthi prep is ARV sugar is sugar is sugar doesn't matter whether you wanna call it icing sugar or sugar it's sugar prep is ARV instead of three drugs they take one of the three drugs i forgot the exact one if you want me to go in depth with this topic please uh do write down below in the comment section that you want me to go in depth then i will remember because then i will have to go online and remember and remind myself because i know the name of um the the one that they take out to give you as a prep it's it's the same as unana unana umaka phuma from hospital and umama is actually positive unana is given umuthi lo bamnikeza wona for i i i post i post exposure due to e labor is called nevirapine umntwana will only be given nevirapine and nothing else the which one unana won't be given all those many many drugs they will only give them nevirapine of which nevirapine yo leyilo ukuthi most of the time inokunikeza am heart palpitations but then 
there is this brand this other doctor once showed me and said abantwana bakhona they never have rash or anything once they take it but then now you still say never ever pain hence get different manufacturers yeah you know, this is so they will take one drug from that and give it to you that is your prep so the prep pill has got only one drug whereas the arv pill has got three drugs and what's the difference even if they give you arv because it will do the job because it has the actual dosage of the actual drug they just want to give you so they are not giving you the wrong thing it is the right thing what's what's the difference the main difference of us saying one is prep one is arv yet is the same thing indaba ilelela arvs are meant to be taken for a lifetime because we are managing a disease we are trying to contain a disease not to get out of hand but then when we are trying to prevent a disease you don't have to take the medication for a lifetime no you do not you can stop the medication anytime you want you can stop the medication anytime you want whereas with an hiv person there's a time like iluguti fanela azuguti they no longer have the option to choose whether or not they take the medication there's a point where they have to choose it's either the medication or yafa it's now or never ungodi or the pill whereas for somebody who is not a preventer it's not that it, it, that's not the topic we are having and then umuntu we o gula go ne hiv akana option ukuthi ayinza stopa nini nini scientists don't agree even though there are some who actually agree so to know once you are managed and it's non detectable and you actually have an alternative a good alternative to keep it undetectable you can get off if you want but then majority of scientists and which is safe until further notice do not agree for you to get off the medication once you're on medication it's a lifetime it's chronic medication but when we're talking prevention what makes prep prep is because you can start when you want you can stop when you want the idea is that when you know that now you are most exposed let's say ukuthi uyazi ukuthi wena umuntu wakho uyafinetha nje or you know ukuthi basically you're just for example meeting let's say you're within the ages 15 to 35 that age usually they experiment they do this and that so it's best to be on prep it's best to be on prep because now you know what you are covered for those instances where you condom past you are covered for um those instances like ilugothi you get cut up for some reason by blades or you get injected by something you don't trust even though on that one on on um the cuts and the injections it can be a little bit tricky because as far as studies are concerned 
most researchers are be, even if you go check for yourself they are being done based on sexually transmitted disease would they are preventing sexually transmitted so what if it's not sexually transmitted can we still prevent but then as it's still up uh we are going to pray Uguti. it prevents you now so that we don't confuse ourselves you know, is, so for as long as was what you're at risk then you take prep and the prep is said by scientists through their research that it is better than the vaginal ring plus which is a plus for the males it also works for the males because the vaginal ring is emphasizing in your time now prevent doing so this one at least is good is good news for both parties yeah bon manje guna this one that is coming which is still in the pipeline it has our government is still negotiating for us to go see toll i think it's called kepler it's just that sinelo shading on our side so i can't check Oh, I can't Google and check. Oh, Gonja, what's the medication? I think it's called Kepler, as in um, C A P L A Kepler. That that medication, what what is what scientists are saying about it is that it's a slow acting drug which is designed uguti it should prevent you from getting hiv for a period of two months whereas prep you take it on a daily basis this one you will be only taking it once for two months and another thing that i'm not sure about is whether it's a pill or an injectable I think they were not even clear. The paper that I read online was not clear on that part as well. Whether it's 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 an injectable or you take it orally. But then the good news about it is that you take it once in two months. Then in two months you need to go back and get it. So why don't we have it here? even though it's available abroad because apparently it is said to be somewhere in the ranges of five hundred thousand dollars per pop per pop five hundred thousand dollars per pop because i was like no am i reading it wrong or is it five hundred dollars still even if it's five hundred dollars that is like flip too much but then anyway must put me up what our government is trying to do is trying to negotiate uh a bulk purchase lay will um will allow for um the supplier to produce that drug uh in a large quantity lailuguti that large supply will be able to make them cut down the price to 250 or so per pop ngap 250 rands meaning uguti it has to be a massive load of production yeah this is cause i'm sure uh the more the more they supply then it will drive the price of production down yeah this is which will also allow for us to get the drug cheaper yeah bon and manje layer drug but it's 
better than the actual prep that we have and way much better because this one but they can even say give it a status of being a vaccine it is that good like it prevents like you stop nonsense the one that is coming please check it out i'm not lying i'm not lying it's called kepler it stops the manje mean what frustrates me is if you can find all these things why can't you find the cure for hiv which makes me believe even more that the cure of hiv is seated somewhere somewhere there in somebody's lab but then anyway We'll take our wins as we are getting them. The win for now is that, guys, Kepler is here. Labo iluguti bahamba abo abroad. When you're going abroad, you can even order it for yourself. Kepler is the way to go, guys, because um, apparently it stops bricks like brick up over. It's certified, it passed. So now we have a vaccine. But it comes with a huge but. It's a vaccine for as long as you take it. You stop taking it, then it's not like a polio vaccine. Then for life, you're covered against e polio. The chances are going down for a lifetime. No. It's a vaccine for as long for as long as you are taking it per two months layer. No mum tagatanga posangayo. It don't work, it will fail, it will bounce off. Kepler is here. Ya pela spelile bona is finito ye HIV. Only if we can all afford it. Now seeing that we can even afford to buy isinkwa na matanda. Hi. The answer is here. Our Moses is here for our next generation. From each generation, if you got manja going forward, there's no reason for them to contract Ugayangam with Kepler here. They have no reason of getting e HIV. We should be able to cut down HIV dramatically. So, guys, please, let's learn our drugs. Let's learn our drugs. Any any into a out there seek to have knowledge of it. Your diabetes, even if we don't have diabetes, it's good for us to learn what is diabetes, what's going on there. Even if we don't have cancer, learn what is cancer, what is going on there, how do they treat it, what drugs are involved, uh, which hospitals actually do offer chemotherapy, which hospitals have an oncologist, which don't have uh which doctors do I need when I'm diabetic? When do I see a, a podiatrist? Is it only when I have diabetes? Is it only when... Guys, let's be knowledgeable. Because once we contract these things, then it's too late. Then that is where we find ourselves fear-mongering. Uzwa umuntu magakulu magutulo muntulo is pushing fear. And nothing else. We are only scared of diabetes. Why? Because we don't have enough info. We are going to need the info when when we are now faced with it. Of which, Alessos Kati really is too late. Because now we, we will be acting on it from a point of desperation, a point of frustration, and a point of which is when people die. Same with HIV. If you're going to want to learn about HIV once you contract it, then you act from a point of 
being scared, being terrified, then you die. Cancer, same thing. Let's learn these diseases. Let's learn them, all of them. Because, you know, there was a time like Logoti um, for, for my anxiety. My doctor took an epileptic pill and prescribed that to treat my anxiety. Which is a topic for another day. Which which will then show you what he, it helps. Knowledge helps because when you do not know, then you end up doing more damage. Because you will even question your treatments. Hmm? Because you are ignorant to the fact you're going to why is it you are being given that drug? What is in that drug that will make it work for your particular case? Same thing but no, but then I'm not ARV. Yes, but I'm not ARV because ARV has the actual drug. I'm not going to be able to do it. And since well, they did not have that actual one drug, the pill that has only that, they've already separated that one drug, isolated that one drug into one pill. They only have this three in one. It's the same. It's not like it will do damage. No. Actually, you have no triple protection. And it's very good to go to I I I Simply because there's um, a fraction of people who are reporting having nightmares for me now, it, it does not mean you'll come down with some mental what what. Even though, yes, there are side effects, like what some have reported uh, sleeping into depression because of my ARVs. As in lazy, you tend to think, oh, what he, uh, isn't it from life experiences or from them accepting their situation or it can be many things it can be many things so let's arm ourselves with knowledge based on everything everything Because once you are faced with that thing, seriously, it's too late. Because, believe you me, more often than not, when you want to learn about something, that is when guba ne damage. That's what I saw with my spiritual calling because it caused a whole lot of friction in in many of my relationships, be it within the family and society and friendships and all sorts of things. Why? Because even I did not understand this thing until and I had no way to swim back. And, the, uh, and people who are around me now, they don't know it. what the hell is this thing and everything. This person is going mad right in front of us. Then now fear comes in, desperation comes in. Things are said that can be taken back. Things are done. Knowledge. Knowledge. 
in the absence of knowledge, we can only operate on fear. HIV is not a death sentence. And I really don't believe what our youth are out there uh, trying to get HIV, thinking that HIV does not exist. Do you know how much people are preventing themselves from getting flu? Just a mere measly flu. People are being careful not to... And whenever they find themselves, ngati, they are feeling ama symptoms, you'll find people now taking up allergics and all sorts of things. So ngati, what's that got to do with flu? But trying their level best to make sure that the bug does not come in. People are actually responsible out there. But then they still contract that thing because unfortunately human nature gets the, be- the better of people from Fantuga Af. It's not a new thing. It's not like our youth in it, then we must demonize our youth. No, Fantuga Af. Uh, human nature takes the best of people. We should advocate for our youth to abstain for as long as possible in the absence of which Let's arm them with the knowledge. Uguti, what can you do? We have condoms, but remember, condoms passed, and we're not only preventing HIV, we're preventing uh, unwanted pregnancies as well. We have your vaginal rings, we have your prep, and soon to come, ah, my favorite now, this is my all time favorite. We have Kepler about to join the fold. And if Kepler is gonna, yo, I see so many lives being saved with Kepler. Of which makes me wonder, there is the same version of the drug, but then, yeah, HIV, yeah, 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 maintenance, yeah, ARV, the two months one. I wonder what happened to that. Hmm. I guess I've got some reading to do tonight. Because I remember I was interested in that. Then I ended up uh, being sidelined by those people who were being healed by Ama blood transfusion. Okay. See you on the next video.